Take a look at this incredible video showing the northern lights on display in New Jersey. It was visible across the U.S. last night, including for some of us here in North Texas. I want to bring in uh, meteorologist Mario Ruiz, uh, who is actually kind of twinning with the northern lights uh, this morning. I mentioned that to her earlier today. Uh, talk to us about this. I think we've been seeing the northern lights a little bit more than usual. Uh, there is a, a reasoning and explanation behind that. Yeah, it's heightened solar activity, and we're kind of in a cycle where the heightened activity started in 2019 and it's just crescendoing peaking in 2025. But this is one of those images. Yeah, I am twinning a little bit. It's uh, sent in from Karen's, Texas, and this is near Corsicana in Navarro County. If you're unfamiliar with the area, that was taken by Savannah, one of my favorite pictures from last night. Okay, so what causes the northern lights? Like I said, it's solar activity. So every so often, the solar storms actually send ions and electrons towards Earth at 1 million miles per hour. Eventually those ions bounce off of Earth's magnetic field. It's a protective shield, but where we have some weaknesses in the field, North and South Pole, that's why so often we see the Northern Lights in the North Pole. So eventually some of these electrons can make it into that North Pole and then it mixes, interacts with nitrogen and oxygen. That interaction is actually what causes the lights. And it, during particularly strong solar storms, that light can make it all the way to the southern latitude. So that's the reason why. And uh, like I said, solar activity peaking next year, that means we could see this happen again in the next year, Matt. Always a, it's always a pretty cool sight to see. So if you have any pictures at home that you got uh, last night or captured, send them our way. All right, thank you so much, Mario. The